Okay, so I'm Sita. Hi, everyone. Uh, and as you know, like I'm a wife, I'm a mom, and uh, I believe like almost every one of you have seen my daughter, Saira, and she's very active and happy. And I can say that I'm a happy and proud mom, but it's not always been like this before I was very, very, very overwhelmed. When the first time I become a mother, I just stressed out. I don't know what to do. So that time I bought all the books, all parenting books. I follow all influencers. I just want to know like how to become a good mother because I'm, I'm so scared. Like one day if I bring my daughter somewhere, then someone will say, hey Sita, you're not a good mom. Why your daughter behaving like this? Why she is so cranky? So I just want to figure it out how to become a good mom. So instead of praying, I just read all the books and see all the influencers. But trust me, it's useless. So, <laughs> so uh, and I, I, I realize that I have to pray. I, I need God. I, ju I don't need this. So I pray and I ask God, like, God, what do you want me to do as a mom? I don't know what to do. I don't know what should I, like, uh, teach to my daughter. So after praying, uh, I stumble into this uh, verse, Matthew 18, verse 3 and 4, when Jesus said, I tell you the truth, unless you turn from your sins and become like little children, you will never get into the kingdom of heaven. So anyone who becomes as humble as this little child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. So after I read that verse, I'm surprised. And I said, so God, you don't want me to teach Saira anything, but you want me to learn from her. So after that day, I, I just uh, say to God, like, okay, God, I'm going to throw all these books. I'm going to unfollow all the influencers <laughs> because they didn't help me. And I want to, I just want to submit to you. I just want to journey together with my daughter and day by day seeing her grow and ask you what to do. And when I did that, Actually, I learned a lot from Saira. I learned, the first thing that I learned is when she started to uh, learn to walk. So she was very small. She is like crawling all the time. And then suddenly she, she stand up and then try to take her first step. And then she fell. And then she didn't quit. She stand up again and she tried again. And then she fell again. And it happens like for weeks. So when I see that, like, I ask myself, what happened if that situation happened to me? Like, right now, I slipped and I fell here. Maybe I will go out and cry and <laughs> I will feel so ashamed. But I see Saira, she didn't quit. She kept push herself to do that. So I see, like, she's enjoying her process. So this is my first step here, talking to you guys, <laughs> sharing. So maybe right now I could sleep and I fell down, but it's okay. It's my first step. I will try again. I will become better and better. <laughs> so yeah, that's the first thing that I learned from her. And the second thing is Saira is very playful. She likes to jump around. So she likes to... Uh, get into this chair and then jump into that chair and then go to the bed and then jump. But she never feels scared, like, oh, I'm going to fall. She always knows that everybody loves her and will take care of her and someone will catch her. Maybe his, uh, her dad or me or her uncles will catch her. So she will never feel, oh, what, what will happen to me? So, and when I see that, I'm, as a mom, I see like she has so much faith in me and in Sahil so much that I'm questioning myself why why me as a daughter of God sometimes if difficult thing happen to my life problem or or trials I tend to question God like 
God, are you here with me? I'm going to fall. Are you there to catch me? But the truth is, like, when I see Syrah, her faith is so big. And I learn from her that, okay, I need to have that kind of faith, that kind of faith, and I have to trust God. Even how bad my situation is, God will be there for me and catch me. So these two things God teach me through my process when I become a mom, when I have a little child in front of me, so I learn from her. So to close this, I want to encourage all of you here, maybe if these words touch you also, touch your heart, maybe if there's an opportunity for you to uh, observe little children and see how they behave, or maybe next Sunday, it's Easter Sunday, maybe that's the time for you, and maybe God will speak to you just like he speaks to me. Thank you.